So Whistler Blackcomb has picked a fight with us thanks to pressure from an anonymous U.S. lobby group called Sleeping Giants. I gotta say, I'm profoundly disappointed such an iconic and big part of my life growing up decided to take a shot at me, my friends, and my colleagues that work here at The Rebel, the fastest growing media company in Canada. Whistler, as a destination, has always been a part of my life and the lives of everyone that lives here in the Lower Mainland. I don't know a single person who hasn't visited, spent money, and enjoyed all the resort has to offer. Skiing and snowboarding in the winter and golf in the summer is how it's been for me and so many others who really do feel blessed that not only do we live in the beautiful city of Vancouver, but we have this amazing resort community just a 90 minute drive away. Whistler always had this small town resort feeling despite it being a worldwide destination each and every winter. But that changed in 2016 when the locally owned Whistler Blackcomb Ski Resorts sold uh, the, the company to the U.S. based and globalist Vail Resorts for a cool 1.4 billion dollars. And immediately this past winter, locals began to feel the alienation. Many longtime skiers and snowboarders in Whistler and down here in the greater Vancouver area that I personally know feel like those mountains just aren't for them anymore in the minds of the new owners. Instead, they are now for wealthy foreigners, especially those who visit other Vail Resorts in the United States. But here is why this move by Whistler Blackcomb and their PR hack Sarah Morden are so misguided in their attack on Rebel Media. Environmentalists and activists hate ski resorts and golf courses, something the parent company, Vail Resorts, just so happens to operate in numerous places around the world. In fact, despite sucking up to the environmental lobby, Vail has still been on the receiving end of eco-terror attacks on their resorts. Here are just a few examples of when Vail Resorts have been the victim of attacks. Eco-terrorist burns ski resort, one headline reads. Another says, four indicted in Vail eco-terrorism. They just don't get it, do they? These are the same activists they are now bowing to on behalf of sleeping giants. And I don't think for one second that any of these activists would second guess any activism against Vail or Whistler Blackcomb just because they made a rash knee-jerk decision to do something they think is virtuous and pull ads from our site. We could totally be on the same side here. Like many multinational corporations, Vail has a history of some unethical behavior themselves. In fact, in 2015, Vail came under heavy fire for forcing their employees at their Vail Colorado resort to share rooms, sometimes shoving three to four employees into a small 600 square foot one bedroom unit. The backlash was swift from employees to local media and Vail eventually backtracked and promised to do a complete 180. So will Whistler Blackcomb do the same with us? I hope so, but I'm not counting on it simply because we are returning fire. I do, however, know a way they will listen and listen closely. If you email and call their head office, if you, our loyal and supportive viewers, tell them how upset you are and that you will be taking your business to other ski resorts next winter, be it Mount Washington on Vancouver Island or any of the number of spectacular resorts in the interior of the province from Sun Peaks, Big White to Fernie, BC. Let Whistler Blackcomb know their reactionary decision to bow to pressure from an anonymous U.S.-based lobby group targeting a company supported by you, the grassroots, won't be accepted so easily. Of course, I would also be very grateful if you would sign our petition at boycottwhistlerblackcomb.com. For the Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. Sign that petition and make it our most popular petition to date. You saw what we did when we boycotted Tim Hortons. You saw what we did when we boycotted Earl's switching away from Canadian beef. Let's break that record and let's let Whistler Blackcomb know that the grassroots aren't playing along.